We love hip hop. We all think that Brick Baby is on the chopping block next. So I'll explain. Adam just fired, or I don't know if Adam fired, but Sharp just left the No Jumper universe. Okay. People have been making multiple videos, myself I included. Think he got fired. He kind of like fake flexed with leaving, and Adam was like, all right, bye. <laughs> Leave. We never liked you anyway. And then they yeah. just had the stomp party on him, right? Yeah. However, I think Brick Baby might be next. Because oh. what got revealed not too long ago is that he wanted to get Dijon a lawyer after he got shot. Hmm. Now, y'all remember Dijon Paul, the guy who was there? Yeah. On, right? He And the whole rumor of him getting shot? Now, that happened, and people over there at Joe No Jumper denied it and stuff like that. But at the time when it was going on in the thick of things, it was revealed that Brick Baby was like, well, listen, cuz, if this is happening on 6-0, you know, maybe you should call a lawyer. Or maybe you should get a little bit more money out of him, cuz. <laughs> Adam's not going to like that. I, I could see, like, the one thing I'll say, though, is I feel like Brick Baby's the last one he has around who's really tapped in with the whole gang culture, and I think Adam kind of wants that just in his back pocket, but I'm sure there's another person he could get to do that. I have a theory, but I'll, I'll let y'all know in a minute. I'll play a little bit of this video from Point and Shoot. Salute to them. Shout out to Point and Shoot. Of course. <laughs> These guys are the best at reactions. Oh, man. Trust. All right. So I just was probably talking in that Brick Baby wanted to see No Jumper go down. He wanted to see the 16 burn. He wanted to see the walls of that building falter to his very feet. So he went ahead and reached out to Dijon to help him sue. And so Brick Baby was probably talking in Dijon's ear like something like this, like, Dijon, we is not fucking with this white boy no more, cuz on the dead homies. We is not fucking with cuz, cuz a bitch. We gonna get cuz up out of here, cuz on the dead homies. He's a bitch, cuz, and I'll fuck his ugly ass wife too, cuz. <laughs> his impression is way better than mine. <laughs> That's, all right. That's so how I good. think the conversation probably it went, okay? so deeper, And then this deeper, allegation deeper. would get back to the 16. The 16 would find out about this. And he would confront Brick Baby about this live on the No Jumper Watch show. The confrontation. And Brick Baby denied the whole thing. So this would actually, his Brick Baby's denial of this would go on to set off a very interesting chain of events that I'm about to go over with you guys, starting with the first clip. So the first clip I've got here is Sharp Rob's ex-girlfriend, Damn Homie, the Coney Island squid. She's the one who actually put Hold this on. on. Salute to Damn Homie. Okay, we don't feel the same way as, as yeah. Point and Shoot do about you. I seen her in the chat earlier. You, you got to stop at that Coney Island squid, though, homie. That's 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 wild. I'm mean, really can't say friend. shit about it. Huh? <laughs> you're just saying that because she's your friend, and she's not just that, but brother, like but that's the homie, fam. Got funny names. <laughs> but Coney Island squid is crazy. It is crazy, but that's why My. people watch his channel. He talks about me. I want a crazy name. I don't just want. Oh, it's AGB. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Mean, the crazy I, he, he, he wanted him to call you. He wanted him to say some wild stuff about yeah. you. I get it. Yeah. Then you embrace it. It's dope. AGB, know, the Red Beard Bandit, or some shit. You know? be better than that. that kind Red of Beard bad. Bastard. <laughs> something. Okay, no. let's go. Adam Friday not being loyal because Sharp is the one that told Dijon to sue Adam. Was it not Sharp and Brick that was telling Dijon? to sue Adam and play victim? Let's ask Dijon. Now, apparently the 16 has already known about this allegation and he swept it under the rug a long time ago. But now, damn homie made this clip. Brick Baby conspired to tell Dijon to sue No Jumper. I think this is dun, dun, dun. I think it's true. No, I, true. no dun, I definitely, dun. I told you I had talks with him. I didn't try to tell him to sue No Jumper. I said, no, tell Adam to give you your money so you could come back if you really got shot. I'm right. Like, if, uh, what? So he, he says he didn't tell Dijon to sue, but he. Okay, let's stop there for a second and I'm going to play another clip for y'all in a minute. <laughs> Thoughts, gang? Did Is he in Dijon's ear like. Bro, that's what's happening. Take that white boy down. I mean, it's possible. That, that would be grimy. That would be grimy for him to be doing that and then sitting there in, in the building and, you know what I mean, still making money off of the network and shit. Like, 
That'd be some grimy. Adam smoking mad cigarettes, getting money off of podcasting. Yeah, like that'd be some wild work, like dangerous work. I'm looking at it like this. Like, let's say we all work together and we were no jumper, and like Friday was Adam, and like someone accidentally shot someone, and I wasn't there, and I wasn't involved. I have no idea. And you're calling me and tell like the person's calling me and telling me. I'm probably be like, well, fam, you got to get a lawyer. Like, why are you hitting me up? Like, that'd probably be what I'd say. Like, not knowing anything of what's going on, but. If then you're like, I get him for as much money as you can, then it's like, all right, well, that's. that no. Nope. I'm not saying okay. nothing. Here's I'm not saying a damn word. <laughs> right? But here's the thing it was more than just get a lawyer. It was like, this is what they were willing to quote unquote settle for, which yeah. is alle- allegedly because Adam said, you know, stands on nobody got shot over there. And Brick Baby was like, why don't you get a little bit more than that? And then his explanation was like, listen, bro, on 6-0, if, if that's all you're going to get, then you may as well come back, or you may, or you should get a little more. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty sneaky. Him say- to go there and say nothing. Like, it would be another thing if Brick Baby then went in and went to Adam and was like, yo, did you get this man shot? Because if someone at the network said that to me, the first thing I would do is call Friday and be like, yo, Friday, why is somebody telling me that they you got them shot? At, at, <laughs> should I be Thank you. what the fuck's going on? Oh, my gosh. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here's the thing. And I'm going to give you guys a quick theory before I get into this next clip here. Yeah. I don't think that a security shot this dude. <laughs> I think that's what the problem is. So what I do think, you think? I think one of the hood guys that are in there was cleaning their burner and shot him by mistake. And they've been calling him security the whole time. They've been saying security, security, security. If he got shot in any kind of way or grazed or whatever. He, they've been saying security for this almost like six months. But ain't no security ever shot him. No it's not the brick because the brick is telling him to get more money. But it's somebody that's kind of like the brick, like another. Yo, they have mad gangsters in there, bro. Mad gangsters, mm-hmm. mad gangsters running in and out. Yes, yeah. I think somebody shot them. It could have been a staff member who's a gangster, yeah. like a, yeah. in front of the camera staff member who's a gangster, yeah. and he's just not saying who actually shot him. I mean, how are you gonna get some money if you if you can't like pretty much claim you're a victim? You know what I mean? Yeah, if it's a gangster that shot you in there, then it's one thing. But if it's security, then I can sue the company. Yeah. I mean, realistically, it's been long enough. Has he shown a wound or something? Well, that's where things started getting a little mucky, right? It was like, is, is you know, where where is the flesh wound? Like, the man had a, he had a cast for a while, and he was on crutches. Mm-hmm. So there should be something you could show someone. Listen, man, it's maybe he's building his case. Maybe he's been building his case for a while. He he went back to um Fig Immunity World or back on yeah. Fig. The same guys that he was calling workers and blah 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 blah. He ended up working for them now. <laughs> That's so and, ironic. Right? And now he's spilling more tea. Watch him. <laughs> wow, so this was unexpected. These oh, I mean- it up, but I, I I really want Dijon. You saying uh tell the people what Brick Baby told you. you know I'm saying what he texts you about uh oh my god yeah yeah when you was finna leave you know all I mean? I, all no, I... he was finna no he was you was finna leave and he told you he texts you some shit and he told you what to do tell him tell people <laughs> This is what I was. All right, well, let me talk. Wow, so this was unexpected. These three were sitting around talking about their favorite ice cream or some shit. And then T Rail bursts through the door. He's acting like he's had a couple tequilas. And he says, You need to tell them right now. I want to say that it wasn't just one person at No Jumper that reached out to me during that time with gotcha. options. Like Wait I said, it. it was multiple people. I won't just pin it on one person. And um, if anybody accused me of lying in that regard, I do have that proof. I said either they really are trying to help or they really are trying to just be messy and hurt. Right. And I said either way, I don't need to be there. Wow. Yeah. So Dijon's instincts were spot on. Let me try. So he said there's more than one person that was trying to let him tell him to get some money out of Adam. The th- oh, I didn't even have the video up. The three people yeah. are Sharp, Brick Baby, as forementioned, 
and poetic fl Flacco. <laughs> <laughs> Flacco denies it in his video. Flacco yeah. already did a reaction to this, and he was like, "Oh hell no, oh hell no." Flacco did. I'm sure. <laughs> Flacco sure. did. Flacco was like, "Yo, get, get, get. Cause Flacco just wants to seem cool. <laughs> Sharp didn't do it. You don't think Sharp got up in his ear? Sharp's been revealed to be kind of a snake. I think Sharp probably told him. Yeah, but he didn't do it though. He didn't do it. Mm. He didn't I mean, do that. We got to think too, like at this point, has Dijon shown like that this is true? Because a lot of this could just be him trying to start something. He's been standing on the fact that he got shot this whole time, bro. No, I'm saying about that. Like, it, did these people really talk to him or is he just saying that? I think, and with all due respect, because I, I mess with those guys over there at No Jumper. I think he's telling the truth. <laughs> Yeah, I think they I were like, yo, get it. some more money out that white man, yo. Let's do it right now, man. How much How much you get? 100K? Oh, you better get 500. Are you dumb? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I can't wait for someone to come in there and shoot me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? And the No Jumper universe has been taking a hit over, the over a space of years, right? With AD and all them leaving and then yeah. Adam going through all his stuff. So, and then he reconfigured the whole thing and took away the news and a bunch of shows. Yeah. Bruh. This, a lot of these guys, they're probably were like, oh, this ship is going down. You better take whatever you can because they're going to fire us too. And then it started going back up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It didn't, it didn't sink. It didn't go all the way out like they, that they thought. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, oh, 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 well. My bad. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> as as you were. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. they thought it was going down, bro. They like if you were to report on this this time last year or maybe a little bit before, mm. it looked like no jumper wasn't gonna make it, bro. I wouldn't say that. I would just say they were flipping their script. Like Bro, when Adam I was, was going through the um, allegations with the with the young thing, yeah, it was like cancel time for him, bro. Yeah, Almost, it was looking yeah. for a minute like it might be. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And even all till now, Adam, even though he still has a, the biggest platform over there, yeah. he's become like, with all due respect, quote unquote, a lull cow for the internet. Yeah. What does that mean? Quote unquote, 100%, bro. Uh, LOL. So I'm going to give you some new, some internet um, language. Lull cow. LOL cow is how it's spelled. A oh. Just basically so something that people just laugh at. So when I post Adam, and I'm not posting him on some mean, memeing him or joking on him or anything. I just post him whatever happened on No Jumper. The yeah. comments that come in are, oh, Adam 16, PDF, da 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 It's never, and he, he could be talking about some positive shit or doing something where he looks good. Yeah. The comments are still hateful. Still hateful. So a lot of people, like, there's a percentage of people who watch No Jumper just to hate watch them now or react to them. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't really. I watch it, but I don't really hate on Adam. I don't really hate on Adam. Listen, man. He make the decisions he makes is the decisions he makes is the way I look at yeah. it, right? Yeah. A lot of people make a living off of not being happy with his decisions. Yeah. Look at point and yeah. shoot. This has 93,000 views in two days. All Yo, he does is react theory. to these guys. I Talk think, um, you know how Sharp <laughs> didn't go in the, the cypher? Uh-huh. It's because he knew Point and Shoot was going to destroy him and roast roast them. Yeah. <laughs> you know Point and Shoot does the singing and, like, mocks them. Bro, it would have been over for Sharp if that yeah. happened. Besides the almighty suspect at angle, I think he could have got around that, even though... <sighs> And I don't want to go into the sharp thing, but yeah. Almighty Suspect yellow taped him, bro. Yellow. Everybody's been yellow taping this guy. Okay, well, let's, I want to talk about sharp quick, fast before we get to this um, next Adam Twenty Two topic here. Yeah. Um, but last consensus on this um, Dijon thing. I think I put up a poll here asking, um, oh, on Brick Baby, because he gave his explanation. Do you think Adam's going to fire him next? Mm, you make... I'd say like 70% yeah. 
Really? 70% yes? I think wow. so. From what you're saying, we said, yeah, I think I think probably it's that, that video seemed like a foreshadow to a firing. Like, Adam tends to... Like, Adam doesn't just fire you. Adam makes a story arc out of firing you. Mm. Builds it up. He might have started it up. a story arc. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're close to what the the, the audience is saying. Sixty percent of the audience is saying yes, and forty percent actually sixty two percent just changed, and thirty eight percent is saying no. What do you say, Dusty? Is Adam firing Brick Baby next? For sure. Oh. I've been on I've been on top of Brick Baby's head, man. I've been telling you that. I think there's a percentage yes, but not as high as you guys might feel. I think it's like 20% yes that he's going to fire him. And then the other 80% is that he can't fire him. Ah. That's uh, so, 30%. Yo, if he could fire AD, or no, AD and them left, right? They left. Right? They, left. they left. They left. They left. Let's get that clear. Yeah. They left. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't going to be no if he could depart, If he could depart from an AD, trust me, he could depart from Brick Bay. No, but the, the the thing that you said is they left. If he's like, yo, get out, there like might he be did some furniture to Fam, this guy went on the thing. He was almost crying. I'm going to call out Kill Squad, blah, 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 blah. Like, he doesn't know how to separate the street stuff from the internet stuff. Yeah. It bleeds yeah. over all the time. So I'm just, and I'm just theorizing. I'm just podcasting. But if Adam was to be like, yo, you're fired, that place is getting shot up. Nah. Yeah, yeah I think it's possible. I think he'll walk with grace. He'll walk with grace. I, I think it depends the circumstances. It depends, think, yeah. If he does something where he, like, it's his fault, then Adam can, is waiting for that to push him away, right? Yes. But if Adam just outright, like, say right now, is just like, you're done. I agree with Friday. Yeah, they, that place getting that shot up. Shut up. I'm bringing out yeah. Kill Squad. He's like, going to go he, on the stream. He's, he's going to snitch he's himself out. Guilty about something. No. So he can, like, make him leave because of that. Yeah. You, he has to it would have to be ball. security. Like, security, like, escorting him out type of stuff. That's yeah, what would make right. him snap. Yeah. Like, okay. they, get, they get, you know, security would come right up on you and be like, hey, pick you up and just bring you outside. He wants okay, to so there's that. Security does that today. What about tomorrow, the next day, three days when you're later. driving back to your crib? You're always looking over your shoulder worrying about Kill Squad, bro. Nah, I mean, he'll be wanting to get his job back. Hopefully. He'll be wanting to get his job back. He'll probably be outside the building like, Adam, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. I hope so, man, because <laughs> yeah, if it's the other bit, way. For a little bit. For a little bit. Because <laughs> if this guy turns, if he loses it and just goes off into and goes left, yeah, Adam's not safe, bro. I'm sorry, man. This brick baby guy's nah, a but he's oh. got to know if he if he if he wants to continue doing this and be an influencer online and stuff like that, and to get another job or even for him to do his own thing, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to cool out because but Adam I still has reach. I don't you know what I'm really saying? Understanding that, like Friday said, he doesn't separate like the. Sh- I know, but he's gonna learn that day. That's the day he has to learn. Like, bro, yeah, he's you fired. lost his job. <laughs> it's like Craig, you got fired on your day off. You know what I mean? You lost your job. Mm. Yo, he's how many times have you lost a job, and you would you wanted to beat up the owner you want, but you never did. You never he's did. Dead. We all hate the boss. True. Did we ever beat up the boss? No, but I think exactly. maybe would. The regular you got fired. You got fired. You're not going. You got fired. You're Bro. done. Brick Baby is the epitome of the guy. If he wasn't in office, that when you fire him, you have to make sure that the security is right next to him when you give the announcement <laughs> you don't give him too, too, too tough of a chair. I, yo bro big baby's like this yeah. small bro so and i'm not saying that i'm afraid of this nigga or anything like that you know he's like this small bro but i'm just saying he's ignorant bro the man pulled out a strap when they were when uh, when they were having that thing and he got blocked he got pushed up on the wall that whole thing with him and dw's brother there uh yeah t nice t nice yeah right 
T-Nice, they said, had him up on the wall and was pushing his burner down his, his leg and stuff like that. Like, bro, they tried to change the, oh, it was, um, he tried to put my phone down my leg. But, like, bro, you guys keep on slipping and talking about the illegal guns that you have over there in this man's office. <laughs> like, I shouldn't know about this up here in Canada, bro. I'm not there. I'm looking at it, and I'm finding out through the internet. <laughs> oh, man. How am I? How should we know this? Because you know what, Brick Baby talks too much. Oh, thank you. Way too much, bro. <laughs> way too much. Like, like, like about yeah. way too much stuff. Like, way too deep and specifically. Like at that point, it's like, bro, if you want to sound hard, just make up stories, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. Don't pull the real. Take a story that's all made up but similar to your real story and tell that, and you're good. Oh, and you're man. great. I've You're watched this great. guy dry snitch himself about eight times over the two, three years he's been over there, bro. I'm surprised Man. they don't have a Rico on this nigga right now, bro. Adam should get... And listen, I don't want anybody to lose their job, okay? Yeah. Theoretically, if Adam don't want a Rico, he might need to get rid of this guy. Yeah. Because he's in... Like, if anything, if he gets a case, they're going over mad no-jumper content. So, so now yeah. you think... So now you think Adam can't get rid of him and there will be now a shootout. Da, 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 da. See what I'm yeah. saying? Like yes. he's gonna know Adam's gonna step up security. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? He's gonna need to because he don't need to step up security with these weirdos Adam's if he doesn't if he doesn't till he till Brick Baby does something else and Adam can like make Brick Baby feel responsible for it and push him out where he like feels bad and he's like apologetic to Adam. I th I really think that's Adam's best bet and I think that that's something like what Adam will do. I I'm a, I agree with you there, AGB. I gotta agree with you. Like he has Brick Baby is prone to mess up. We've seen this at this point now with him talking to Dijon, giving him too much blah 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 blah. He should have shut up. Yeah, this is not his first strike because there was the other one with him accepting money for interviews and he got caught. And Adam was like, Well, he was like, His excuse was like, Adam had done some type of interview swap for a bunch of promotions, so he thought yeah. it was cool to get money for interviews. So he did it a couple times too, and he was charging like five racks to be on the podcast that he had on the, at the time. Yeah, so this is not strike one, this is strike. Hold on, where's my cap? Strike two. <laughs> man. I don't Strike know, man. Two. So if he's so prone to be doing little weird shit, right? Yeah. No offense to the West Coast. He going to do it again, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's going gonna, he's gonna to mess up again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. as soon as he does that, it's going to be like, yo, listen, Brick Baby, I, I gave you a few chances, man. That thing happened before with the money and then the whole thing with Dijon and now this thing here. <sighs> Come on, you man. Gotta go. I got to let you go, bro. Like, I'm yeah. sorry, man. You're 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 making it bad for business. You got to understand that, bro. Or right? it could be like, yo, you're putting too much out there. I'm worried you're going to get in trouble. Like, Adam's a narcissist. He's going to put it on him. He's going to put it on Brick Baby. <laughs> like, you know, you're, you're really going to get yourself in trouble. Like... <laughs> yeah, He's if you continue to keep on podcasting like this, you're gonna get a recall, bro. I think your best I, is to leave. I am called the kill squad. I, <laughs> yeah. you can man. I right. Out. While you're thinking it's a great conversation, that's what's happening on this. <laughs> surrounded, whole place surrounded, right? I on on quit. Right on quit. <laughs> Once he walks out, I don't know what's gonna happen next, bro. That's why. That's my feeling. I don't know if. No matter how good that conversation happens with Adam and letting Brick Baby go, I don't know what happens next, bro. <laughs> I don't know, but he'll he'll fight another gangster. <laughs> another gangster will pop up in there like, hey, hey, what's what up, cuz? <laughs> they better because Brick Baby is actually now starting to podcast better. Yeah. It took him a while, but he was now he's now starting to get into his shit. Well, he yeah, probably he could can branch him. off and do his own thing. Yeah, right. I hope that's working out for the other guys like Sharp. The only person, and then we have another um, topic on Adam. The only person that is working out for that does their own thing is Poetic Flacco. Yeah. See him on the act. Bro, I think Flacco is going to leave on his own. He doesn't need to get fired. 
He's like, I'm getting more money when I sit in my house and do my YouTube videos. He bought a Benz. And his, sometimes his YouTube video does better than the No Jumper channel. Yeah. And he's messing with Act Heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think Flacco's out of here, bro. He's bigger than No Jumper at this point, with all yeah, due respect. Which is, which is crazy. It really is. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bold statement, but I think Flacco might be like, if No Jumper is here, hold on. If No Jumper is here, Flacco's like right there. Oh, individual oh. there. As, Him like, as a, Trump, a, one individually who could really do something by themselves or have No Jumper gone and it not really affect them that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, He'll that, be okay. His video counts on some of his reactions. Are better do better than no jumper interviews. Maybe not wow. no jumper to show the podcast when they're going to get together, but like to say an individual interview of somebody we don't care about. I'm watching the Flacco video over an interview of some guy I don't care about on no jumper. Yeah. And if something happens in that interview, usually I'm watching what happened through the Flacco video without having to watch the no jumper interview. It's true, right? So you say you gave up. You gave up on no jump. What happened to their Instagram? Their Instagram got packed. Mm. That's why they have that no jumper LA Instagram. Because their Instagram. Yeah, I seen that. I was like, I didn't know if it was the real thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so I didn't even follow. There's been other things going on. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop.